Uh, during the pandemic, I was working in a bakery and I really enjoyed it, but loved it enough to decide to do it on my own. The Baking Flamingos was created. <laughs> the shop has been open since February 1st of this year. Uh, my business has been around since May of 2021. I love flamingos and I made a plural so that way when I expanded outside of the house that I'd be able to have multiple baking flamingos. <laughs> my name's Tracy Zaney. I'm the general manager here and I'm also the sister-in-law to the owner, Amber. Uh, so my, my day is always varied, <laughs> um, but I usually come in uh, in the mornings during the week. Um, we have our breakfast service and stuff, so I'll come in and help with getting that set up. Um, do some ordering, check stock, uh, work with employees. I do all of the HR stuff, so any hiring, firing, you know, discipline, whatever it takes, um, scheduling, um, pretty much whatever needs to be done. My name is Brooke. I'm, I'm a baker here at Baking Flamingos. So I actually started working over at the daycare across the street and Amber's son Brandon, I used to look after him and then she opened this up and I found out about it and I've already like had a love for baking for a long time. So then um, I asked her if there was an opening and I came over and I jumped ship. <laughs> we have a lot of local vendors and artists that come in and sell their products. We have everything from bracelets to cups and shirts and jewelry, uh, mostly women except for one man who is actually 10 and he is our youngest entrepreneur <laughs> and absolutely adorable. <laughs> so Tuesdays are special days, so we have $2 uh, Tuesdays. So cookies and cupcakes are all $2. Uh, we also have some brownies and usually some gluten-free items as well. This is just kind of making my sister-in-law's dream come true. It's, you know, helping my brother's family, um, getting everything going. Uh, she was a cottage baker for a while before this, so doing everything out of their house kind of took over a lot of their house, and this has really opened up some space and um, making her dreams come true. Um, so that's important to me.